Boeing and Saab has rolled out the first T-7A Red Hawk built for the U.S. Air Force under the engineering and manufacturing development phase of the program. These jets are set to be the service's first new advanced jet trainers since the T-38 Talon, which first took to the air more than 60 years ago. Significantly, this particular jet is the first true T-7A, the previous two aircraft being company demonstrators that were not necessarily representative of the final configuration. Rollout ceremony at the Boeing plant in St. Louis, Missouri, saw industry leaders and Air Force officials bring attention to the game-changing attributes that the T-7A is expected to bring to the training pipeline. The first of a planned 351 T-7 is for the service, which Boeing bills as the first aircraft to be fully digitally designed, are due to be delivered to the Air Force at Joint Base San Antonio Randolph next year. This aircraft is a tangible example of how Boeing, its suppliers and partners are leading the digital engineering revolution. T-7A will prepare pilots for future missions for decades to come. Boeing and partner Saab are especially proud of the way that digital design, agile software, and digital engineering technologies have been harnessed to reduce the time between drafting the aircraft and getting it into the air for testing. Despite the rapid progress made in getting the T-7A into the air, the program has suffered some delays that have resulted in Boeing taking a financial hit to the value of $367 million. Air Force is looking to add at least 100, and possibly hundreds more advanced tactical trainers on top of the 351 T-7As that are covered under the TX program. Meanwhile, an adapted Red Hawk, known as the T-7B, is in the running for the U.S. Navy's Undergraduate Jet Training System UJTS, requirement, which is set to result in a wide-ranging overhaul of the way the service trains its naval aviators. The T-7B will be up against offerings from Leonardo and Lockheed Martin in the competition to replace the Navy's current T-45 Goshawk advanced jet trainer. And, as we have discussed in the past, the high-end performance of the T-7A also means the aircraft lends itself to further adaptation as a light fighter, which could potentially be exported abroad much like the F-5 was decades ago.